Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julie Weatherby. And I'm Ashton Daly. Tonight we are at the 2010 Nightlife Awards here at the Paradise. And tonight's all about toasting the best of the best in Boston nightlife. But something very new to the Boston nightlife scene is Howl at the Moon. Yes. And our very own Morgan Chase was at Howl at the Moon. Have you been to Howl at the Moon yet? I haven't, but you know, I, I really do enjoy doing the pianos. I think it's a lot of fun. You can sing along. And I don't know why I haven't been there yet, but I'm def it's definitely on my list of places to check it's out. Definitely on my list of places, especially since we've seen the dueling pianos here at the Nightlife Awards tonight. So who doesn't want to go there? So we're going to toss it to Morgan so she can tell us what's up. Tonight, members of the New England Patriots will all be howling at the moon at Boston's hottest new dueling piano bar, all to benefit the Light Foundation. Let's go in and see what happens when you mix dueling pianos with the roughest boys in town. Matt Light and good friend WAAF's Greg Hill are teaming up to jingle the ivories to raise some funds to the Light Foundation. We're here with Matt Light at Howl at the Moon, the founder of the Light Foundation. Now, Matt, tell us a little bit about this organization. You know, we formed the Light Foundation in 2002, and really our whole goal was to just make a big impact with whoever we worked with. So we kind of left it pretty broad, and we worked with a lot of different organizations, and then we really fine-tuned it to the work that we do now. And uh, really the best way to describe it would be to go to our website and really check out our programs that we offer. And I saw this awesome event that you're doing tomorrow in Rhode Island. Tell us right. a little bit about that. You know, this is going to be our sixth year for the Celebrity Shootout, and it's, um, it's, it's golfing with a shotgun. So, you know, we looked at it and we said, look, there's a million golf tournaments. There's a lot of things that people do to give back. Let's let's create something new, exciting, and have fun doing it. Well, guys, I felt so lucky to get up close and personal to as many as the 2010 Patriots lineup as I did tonight, just before the season kicks off. It's obvious that these guys support each other both on and off the field. Reporting for Dirty Water News, I'm Morgan Chase. Back to you guys. Joining us now, we have Colin from Dirty Water Newspaper. And we also have this guy right here, SJ. He needs no introduction. But first, we want to talk to you, Colin. The newspaper launched a year ago. It's like super popular. How do you feel about this? It's fantastic. I mean, we, we, we launched it a year ago at this event. So this is very special to come back again this year and be able to talk about how much has expanded since then. Um, we're about to expand in pages next week. We're, we're going to break it into a nightlife section and uh, a feature section that, that has uh, features on food and shopping, fashion. Um, we're getting more into profiling restaurants. Uh, we have a sports section and we have a lot of photos in it, which is one, you know, one of the major reasons people pick it up. You know, what can I say? It's, uh, you know, Dirty Water TV has been giving us a lot of uh, pr promotion. We're really happy. So now, SJ, obviously you don't need any introduction. You are owner of the place. You guys just recently opened up Hell at the Moon. Now, tell me, the Nightlife Awards, this is the third annual here at Paradise Rock Club, but it actually originally started its first year at the place three years ago. Tell me a little bit about the idea. Yeah, three years ago we started at the place. It was about 200 people. Billy came in, a, a lot of you know promoters and stuff came in, and we really felt like they could blow it up. But I, I was going to keep it at the place, and then Billy said, let's just blow it out on Dirty Water TV, have an hour show, and here we are with like a 1,000 people at the Paradise. I mean, it's just been fantastic and overwhelming. Why do you feel it's important to honor these people like you know, we have the best female and male bartenders. We have the best sports bar. You know, what really, why do you think it's so important to really honor these people and kind of award them tonight? Well, these people in the industry are the people that move the city. You know, they're the people that, you know, are serving people, telling them where to go, you know, and no one does anything for them, you know. So that's what we do. We're about the nightlife, restaurants, bars, all of it. We try to honor them all. Hopefully we'll expand more um, categories next year. But uh, we're just fired up. I'm glad you could make it. Up next, we'll wrap things up from the Paradise Rock Club and the 2010 Nightlife Awards when Dirty Water TV returns.